Breaking tonight, more Bush League justice. The House Judiciary Committee voted to hold Karl Rove in contempt today after Rove defied a subpoena to appear before the committee investigating the politicization of the Justice Department and whether Rove played a role in the prosecution of prominent Democrat Don Siegelman, the former governor of Alabama. This comes just a day after another damning Justice Department report showed that Bush appointees in the Justice Department broke the law by trying to hire only loyal Republicans for what were supposed to be non-political jobs. Now, all eyes are on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and whether a contempt vote against Rove will be brought before the full House of Representatives. Joining me now, a member of the House Judiciary Committee, Democratic Representative Linda Sanchez, and a Republican Representative, Walter Jones, who is at odds with many of his fellow Republicans because he, too, believes that Rove must be forced to testify. Thanks to both of you for coming on. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Representative Sanchez, you've all now voted to hold Karl Rove in contempt. What happens now? Uh, well, the full Judiciary Committee voted today um, to hold him in contempt, and that will now move um, to the House, uh, the full House, for a vote, uh, hopefully in September. And what is the goal here? I mean, it, I mean, obviously, look, I know the goal is to, to force Rove to testify. But as you know, there have been other cases that have been working their way through the courts. Some people have said that Congress should act on its own uh, and should literally haul Karl Rove into uh, to jail if he continues to refuse to testify. Any chance that that would happen? Uh, it's possible. Under the contempt order that was issued today, um, there was a provision that any uh, legal means necessary be employed um, to force him to testify, which could include the inherent contempt powers of Congress, which would mean, yes, that he would be arrested and held in jail, um, and that there would be a trial in the House of Representatives. Do you that's not something that's been taken off the table, so it, it is a possibility. Do you want that to happen? Uh, personally, I would love to see that happen. Um, whether or not we'll get that is, is another question entirely. Yeah. All right, Representative Jones, look, uh, um, it was based on party lines here, the, the vote in the Judiciary Committee, but it sounds like you're someone who believes that Rove should be forced to testify, correct? Dan, I do. And let me remind you and those that are watching this show that in the year 2000, when President Bush was a candidate, he said many times in debate he would bring dignity to the White House. This would be a great start if Karl Rove would come before the Judiciary Committee and let's, let him be ex explain his involvement, if any, in this Don Sigelman case. Are you getting heat from some of your colleagues? I mean, as a Republican who's putting the heat on Karl Rove? Don, uh, Dan, excuse me, I am not for this reason. I am a man who believes that the, the importance to a democracy, to a republic, is trust, public trust and accountability. Well, look, I, I agree with you. Um, that, that's, that's been my argument all along. I don't think this should be uh, based on party lines. Yeah, yeah. But, but I've got to believe that you're one of a, a handful of Republicans willing to take that principled position. Well, Dan, let me say this. Uh, I have only one person to answer to, and that's my God one day in my life. Okay. And what do you think about the notion that if Karl Rove, look, you know Karl Rove's not coming, right? He's not going to come unless he is absolutely forced to testify. This is now, uh, maybe in September, that the House will vote uh, to hold him in contempt. Then it continues to, to work its way through the courts. Do you think that Congress should act on its own, as Representative Sanchez believes that they should, and literally haul Karl Rove in themselves? Well, let me say this, Dan. I, I was one of those re Republicans who I voted for four articles of impeachment with Bill Clinton. I did everything to bring the truth out as it related to President Clinton at the time. I feel the same way that, that Karl Rove has an obligation to come to the ju Judiciary Committee excuse me, and to tell what he knows about the Don Siegelman case. But he's not coming. So do you think that knowing he's not coming, should Congress use its inherent power and haul him in, possibly put him into jail? Whatever authority the Congress has, we need to uphold the institution. So it sounds like you're saying that you, you too think that that should, that should be a real option here. I think we should uphold the institution and the integrity of the House of Representatives. Let me read out what Nancy Pelosi said, Representative Sanchez. She said, Congress will assess the contempt charge against Karl Rove passed by the House Judiciary Committee today and an informed decision about how to move forward will be made in September. What, do you, what is the reluctance, if any, do you think, on the part of the House to hold Rove in contempt? 
Well, you know, in talking with my colleagues, I'm not sensing reluctance. The factual uh, situation is the following. Uh, we have a very short amount of time uh, left in the term in which to conclude a number of legislative projects, and the problem becomes one of, you know, what takes priority and, you know, what are they going to schedule in, in September? And, um, you know, I, I understand that this is something that I would love to see move forward in September, but the reality is there are a lot of competing projects that are of very huge importance to the American public, uh, and so you know, so in bottom September, line, the spe speaker bottom will line, make, make a decision. It, it sounds to me like bottom line is you don't think anything's going to happen anytime soon. I, I don't know that for sure. Um, we won't know until September when they yeah. assess what needs to take precedence in the House. All right. Uh, Representative Linda Sanchez and Representative Walter Jones, thank you both very much for coming on the program. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.